Professional development for teachers, absolutely critical. We're asking the teacher to take a different role where they're not the knowledge base anymore. They're not the, they're not the, the knower of all things. Right? They, they're the facilitator, they're the coach. We're asking them to use technology to support these new learning models. We should teach them how to use these new learning models. Not teach them how to use technology, but teach them how to be different in the classroom and then they'll figure out how to use technology if we give them the right tools and the right professional development. This is a picture of my 11 year old. Okay? This is a couple weekends ago. I'm sitting on the couch, I'm sitting right here, being a patriotic, good American, I'm being lazy on a Sunday and I'm watching football, right? <laughs> and I turn to my left and I see this, right? This is my 11 year old. He is playing Minecraft on this machine, right? And on his Chromebook, he's watching videos learning how to play Minecraft <laughs> on that machine. <laughs> no one tells him, listen, stop. Learning only happens between Monday and Friday, between this time and this time, between this month and this month, right? This is a generation of kids who are growing up with the web and they're learning constantly how to do stuff. And nobody's telling them to do it, right? And, and the fact that he feels like one computer that could land Apollo 13 isn't fast enough or good enough for him. <laughs> this is the expectations that are coming to your school. <coughs> collaboration, right? We talk about collaboration as, a, as an important skill set. Yet, school is a very individual sport, right? I am, I, I had a, a, just came from a, my parent teacher conference last night with my kid, and William does this, William does that, William is this, William gets these grades, William is in this class, William got this test, and then William's gonna graduate from school, and then they're gonna push William out into the world and say, all right, go work with others, good luck. <laughs> right? Imagine as a teacher, you handed out a test to William. By the way, William's my 11 year old, if you haven't figured that out. If you hand out a test to, to William, and what happens if you know, your typical sixth grade class, two kids at the end of that test come up holding that test together, and they say, we did this together. What would your reaction be? Right? Why is collaboration cheating? When in the real world, it's not. Can you imagine if I went up to Sundar or Larry and said, here's the education plan, the global education plan. I did it all by myself. <laughs> nope, nobody helped me. Proudly, right? No, I didn't. My parents didn't help me. <laughs> my brother didn't help me. I did it all by myself. <laughs> what would their reaction be? Right? How long would I have that job? Right? <laughs> Right? So we have to build these collaboration skills into our education models today. We also have to get to the point where we have to get them to start thinking and not necessarily memorizing things. Right? Memorizing data and facts don't, doesn't make sense anymore. All the information is in their pockets and we have to recognize that. And by the way, just for reference sake, kids don't believe that they know, have to know everything, right? They don't believe that they need to know everything. They understand that things move way too fast for them to know everything. And so when one kid says to another kid, hey, have you checked out this site? The other kid says, oh no, cool, tell me about it. Where we are like, yeah, no, I know about it. And then you're looking it up on the side, right? You don't have to know everything, right?